Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, and today we are going to be going over the world download for the Hydra 1004. So when you first download the world and import it into Minecraft, this will be your spawn point. Thanks for downloading the Hydra 1004. This world shows you how to build the Hydra 1004, and I will also be showing you how to use this device in this tutorial. So step one is pretty simple. All we have to do is plot out the area that we're going to build. The Hydra 1004 has a total dimensions of 5 by 14 by 4, which is represented by this nice checkerboard design. The second step is to make the main memory loop. This is similar to a register you would see for the RPC and RPC2. However, this is a lot longer. As you can see, there are a total of 16 comparators in this loop instead of two in the RPC registers. Step three is to make the clock for the RPC2. I made it a 16 tick clock. So if you come over here, you will see that the torch turns on and off every 1.6 seconds. So this is to allow plenty of time for the RPC to receive the instruction from the Hydra 1004 and manipulate from that. So we will build this clock right here. And then we will go on to step four, which is the last step, which is to connect the clock to the input right here. We add one here and here instead of both the subtraction mode. Then we put the redstone dust there and have a torch system like so. Then we have a four block wide repeater line going from this torch to this dust. So these four repeaters are for if you wanted to mess with bit four, if you wanted to mess with bits one, two, and three, you would need to remove one of these repeaters and replace it with a redstone dust. So how you operate this hard drive is that you will set this right here to whatever, uh, whatever byte you want to use times four minus one. So that would be, so one, two, three, or four times four minus one because you have to take into account the redstone torches. Then you will come to this input side and add your input values. So I'll go with one and two, just for an example. And as you can see, the Hydra is now circulating that byte throughout its main loop. So every 1.2 to 1.6 seconds, this byte will be outputted right here and here. So something to take into account is that timing is very, 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 very important when it comes to this build. If you get the repeaters off, even if it is by a tick, then the entire thing can malfunction. For example, as I was recording this, I didn't realize that this clock was off by one tick, and so the Hydra would fill its entire cycle with bit four. So just, so when you're building this, remember to make sure to get the timing right. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Subscribing is completely free and really helps this channel out. The world download will be on my website, which will be, which the link will be in the description. As always, my Discord link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.